hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel so today in this video we are going to add uh, on screen buttons for uh, mobile devices so that we can control our player using these buttons on screen now if you are following this tutorial series then uh, you know that uh, right now we are controlling our player through our keyboard keys and we are jumping by pressing space now uh, what I have done let me show you uh, what now if you see that when I hover my mouse on the button our character stop uh, starts moving towards left similarly with the right and left and we can do a swipe on these button to move our player left and right same if we press jump we again jump now uh, to do that what you need to do is simply go to create ui and then button now after adding button place it on the kernel now you can do that by simply selecting your button in the canvas so this is the right button and you can uh, press alt and shift and put it right in the corner now after putting it in the after placing it in the corner uh, then select this rec tool and make sure to uh, put these white anchors on four corners now uh, same thing with the uh, left button and same with the jump button now after that uh, select your right button and we have to add an event trigger now we are not going to use this on click uh, we, instead we can what we can do is we can go to add component and search for event trigger and add event trigger right there now you will see this add new event type button so simply first click and add a pointer enter event now i have already added it uh, both pointer enter and pointer exit that you can see right here so this is pointer enter and this is pointer exit now the next thing is to write the code for both of these events so we what we have done here is so now uh, currently if you see that we can we are controlling our player by using this line of code so we are simply getting the input from our keyboard and based on that input we are moving our player but now we don't want this code so we are going to comment it instead we are going to uh, write two functions for the right button so the number one is on pointer enter right so this function will be executed when we enter our pointer or when we hover our finger on right button now what we are going to do is simply set the translation variable to one and uh, for on pointer exit we are simply going to set the translation equal to zero now what is translation translation is a float variable that previously we were getting through keyboard but now we are getting we are setting the value of translation by using these events and based on this translation right here if you see that we are uh, translating our rigid body so this is the line of code that is responsible for moving the rigid body or our player now then go back to your event and add this drag this kitty game object into this section and on pointer enter go to your script and check this function on pointer enter right and for on pointer exit we are going to call this on pointer exit function now the same thing we will do for our left button but for left button we have to write another function now here is on pointer enter left simply uh, we are setting the translation to minus one so our player will then move towards left side and 
the pointer exit will remain the same because uh, in both of the events we are setting it to uh, we are setting the translation to zero so then go back and on your left button simply drag this kitty object right here and call the on pointer enter left function same thing on pointer exit simply call on pointer exit function now for jump button we have another function for jump and which is right here so uh, make sure to set it to public so we can access it in our event now on jump button simply create an another event called pointer down now and add this kitty object and simply call kitty dot jump function on this event and you can uh, build this game and test it on android device i have already tested it so hopefully it will work just fine